Now, it's just all promoting. That's your born superstar. I'm the Don of this I'm the Mike, no, I'm LeBron of this <laughs> Jealous of what? Floyd, money made with easy work. I ain't gotta worry about, I'm rich, muff. Floyd Mayweather, he explains his side of it. In this video, I'm gonna talk about it. Floyd Mayweather, Javante, Tank Davis, who said what, all that good stuff coming up in this video. Floyd Mayweather says, and I quote, well, to have the press conference on the same day as Javante Davis versus Roley, their second press conference, because you guys remember, Rolando Roley Romero, he had some charges that popped up that required attention and Showtime seen fit to basically just cancel the fight. They're like, they're, he's in no position to be fighting for a pay-per-view with all these allegations in the background so you guys remember javante davis he ended up fighting against isaac pitbull cruz now he's back fighting his mandatory roley ramiro and the same day they had a press conference with tank davis and roley again the second press conference floyd had his own press conference for apparently a fight in dubai that he's getting ready to do you know or supposed to be so floyd says well that wasn't my idea. I didn't want the press conference to be the same day, but Anderson Spider Silva, he had to fly out because I was in Miami when he was in Miami. So he and the guy Brent said that that is the only day they can do the press conference, which was Thursday. And they said, we'll pay you $1 million cash. We just want to make sure that you can do it. I wasn't going to do it Thursday, but they paid me a million dollars to do it Thursday. So he's saying they they offered him a bag saying, hey, this is the the most feasible day. This is the best day for everyone involved. So please, can you do it on that given day? And he said he, you know, he did it. This is, of course, an interview that Floyd did exclusively with Fight Hype. Link will be in the description. He also talks about people you know weighing in saying their two cents on his relationship with his fighters and javante davis and to which floyd mayweather says and i quote it's always called divide and conquer that's been going on forever i've always wanted the best for any fighter that's under the pbc premier boxing champions banner as well as Mayweather promotions banner. Now, if you've been familiar and introduced to Floyd, you know, the biggest fighter of this generation, you'll know that Floyd frequently and often says that Al Heyman has helped his career. He's also said that Al Heyman is, you know, the guy in the GOAT. Al Heyman and himself their team and he says that mayweather promotions banner and pbc is basically one and the same they're one family one umbrella under the same umbrella floyd has oftentimes said that so he says it's called it's always called divide and conquer that's been going on forever i've always wanted the best for any fighter that's under pbc banner as well as the mayweather promotions banner right so i've always wanted the best for all fighters and especially have you seen me push for a fighter like i push for all of my fighters if i didn't care i would always go out there and badmouth my fighters now there was a statement made and it was kind of subliminal he didn't tag him but everyone like inferred he was talking about floyd mayweather because of what was said and now it's javante davis he had basically said that some people are just jealous hearted and basically it looked like he was alluding to floyd mayweather having his press conference with the anderson silva card on the same day because he believes that floyd couldn't take that someone else is in the limelight like he couldn't stomach it so floyd mayweather seeking the attention decided to try to upstage him which floyd has done that in the past like you look at the fight with uh canelo versus Golovkin everybody was looking forward to that fight and then out of nowhere Floyd announced that he was fighting Conor McGregor and it kind of stole the 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 steam away from Canelo Golovkin 
and it took the sales out of the it took some air out of the sales of canelo glovkin because people were looking for that fight and people were like okay that's the best fight in the calendar but then mayweather and conor mcgregor just their personalities they came with this crazy energy and a press tour and it just diverted attention away so he has done it before but now he's being accused of doing it to his own fighter by the fighter himself possibly because again it was subliminal and then that's what people are thinking so floyd responds to this and he says as far as me being jealous of anyone and i'm not talking about my fighters i mean god has truly blessed me and put me in a position to be able to give back to my fighters if giving back is jealousy then that's what it is fighters and individuals are going to feel like they want to feel and my job is to always be a bigger person and continue to stay positive and push for my fighters to be great so you see right there floyd mayweather decided to take the high road and you know he's not going to engage in some back and forth with one of his fighters that's what it that's what it sounds like to me you know if you guys feel something different you guys let me know in the, in the comment section but you know it is what it is but you guys could check the full interview the full-on interview with floyd mayweather to hear it out of the horse's mouth those are direct quotes and my thoughts listen i'm looking forward to javante davis versus rolando romero and i know in the month of january february and maybe even some of march boxing had a slow period you know it was kind of slow but now it's certainly picked up and for me on my channel i'm more interested in like boxing like the things boxing people treat this boxing game like is high school you know the internet is one big high school everyone just get get around gather around at certain tables at lunch and sh -ps 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 -ps. and you know we're getting it's getting boxing is getting real gossipy you know and it's like the things that are crazy like you got this whole groundbreaking news with daniel kinahan and old media refuses to talk about it and that isn't the case when it comes to drama in boxing especially with the black fighter or black athlete like floyd mayweather said divide and conquer and that's what i see i i see old media when it comes to something that really like for example the whole news and, and some of you don't know because it doesn't get the type of spins but all that will change shortly hint hint right but people are focused in on tank and floyd and is tank davis's contract ending and i mean all that's like hearsay like chatty patty for me like the only reason i'm even doing this video well one i'm a businessman <laughs> you know that because you find me at my place as a business so i gotta cover the latest and greatest and some people sent me the interview and you know that shows me that there's an interest so i'm i'm gonna go where the money's at and i'm gonna go where the action's at if you guys want me to talk about anything i don't duck or dodge anything but tank is in crazy shape and then like i mean just look he's about to fight roly they had an electric press conference and people rather just do the chatty patty you know what i mean talk about speculative things like you know what i'm saying and like for me on my channel i'm a pioneer in this game you know i'm a trendsetter never been better get cheddar like i got a vendetta and at the end of the day you know i run my channel like i run my channel and i've done it so there's no reason to change now it's gotten me this far and it seems to work for me you know i stay in my lane and as far as tank i wish him the best as far as floyd mayweather i wish him the best floyd's a legend tank's a young legend and you know they both are their own people if they are at odds or whatever we'll find out in due time if they end up separating but there's a lot of people and that's why you don't see me making the videos about certain things like eddie hearns eddie hearn was like oh we want to make a big play for tank i don't even know with, like who said he's leaving al Heyman? even hypothetically even if he did leave floyd who said he's leaving Heyman? why would tank sign with eddie hearn y'all gotta make it make sense to me why would tank leave al Heyman? what did it like, al Heyman didn't do nothing like al Heyman do, didn't do a press conference and what could eddie hearn provide seeing that eddie hearn said showtime will be out of business in a year and this was in 2017 
it's now 2022 so we're talking four or five years and eddie hearn and DAZN boxing ain't put showtime out of business meanwhile tank had a viral moment at the press conference you trash booker t and everybody's talking about what happened in the press conference and the back and forth y'all are fake boxing is full of fake people fake individuals stay the f around me don't don't come near me if you're a fake the same element that said tank davis oh why is he fighting roly nobody wants to see it are the same people all in the kool-aid they all in the mix talking about what floyd said and you know the chatty patty stuff what tank said what tank and, and see the other thing about boxing the crazy thing that's happening is you have like this world of make-believe tank's a grown man i don't know what he's gonna decide but as a grown man i'm gonna let him decide and he'll announce what's next i've seen people say he signed it with eddie hearn he gonna go to top rank and, and none of it has come from tank so i i'm not doing that you know let him first of all he had to get past roley that's that should be his number one priority all this other stuff i'm only reporting it because it's current news you know and it's in the cycle and it came across a desk and a lot of people wanted my reaction so i'm giving it to you i don't really have nothing to say like what do you want me to say i don't know what's i have never seen his contract tanks a star that's that's what i do know i've covered several tank fight he a star that's what i know i don't know about his contract see if if i don't know something me personally which you guys will find on my channel i don't pretend to i don't know the details of his relationship with floyd i don't know if it's on the fritz if there's a fracas i, I don't know what his contract stipulates or his next move all i know is he's fighting roley and i'm checking for it and that's a that's a winnable fight for both you know of course tank's gonna be the favorite but roley's rugged as heck and he got crazy pop and he got power so and he's bigger than tank you know i actually thought he was a little bit bigger than tank before and then at this face off they didn't look that crazy size difference but nonetheless he's a he's a ko artist you've seen clips of roley punching people out and sparring and stuff like that so you know the floyd thing is what it is i don't know what his next move is so don't ask me all i know is he look in shape and the roley fight is selling out the barclay that's what i know i know shout out to baltimore shout out to grand rapids michigan you know it's just like boxing's getting to this space where it's just like like i said it's like high school everybody just want to talk drama and you know i guess drama sells but my thing is this i don't i don't even so much i'm not trying to act almighty but at the same time it gets it gets potentially detrimental when people start making up stuff and like i like i said i've literally seen people tell what tank's next move is and tank ain't said what his next move is that's the the real issue but that's my two cents let me know how i did in this video and i'm out are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We work it. The future is now. The Hibernation 5s by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB, and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, gym, or lifestyle headphones, the Hibernations got you covered. The new Hibernation 5s, link in the description customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation.